I've come for a visit here at the Zebra Technologies Melbourne office and joining me is Dan Park and the purpose of my visit is to find out all about 2D barcodes. Now Dan, what are 2D barcodes? Well 2D stands for two dimensional. So basically you have information in the horizontal and the vertical, unlike traditional barcodes which are a bunch of vertical black and white lines and contain a lot less data. So a 2D barcode physically looks different compared to a traditional linear 1D barcode, but what about data capture? Can you capture more information now? Yeah, so traditionally a 1D barcode could capture you know, a series of digits, maybe a serial number or something, you know, not too much data. 2D barcode can capture anywhere up to over 7,000 characters, so it's much more information contained within the barcode itself. So if I scan that 2D barcode, you're saying there's 7,000, up to 7,000 mm. 7, bits of information that I can now capture from that uh, barcode. Correct. What, are some of, what kind of information are you talking about? So, you know, traditionally a 1D barcode, if you're capturing a serial number or some information, it would have to connect back to a server, your device would have to connect back to get the, any information associated with that serial number. But now all the information can be ta contained within the barcode, so it can be anything. It can be um, the product name, product colour, uh, category, any information you want really, but it's all contained within the barcode. You don't need to connect back to a server to collect that data. What are some of the real life applications of a 2D barcode? Well, if you think about pharmaceuticals, they're very small containers and you can fit a, a barcode, 2D barcode in a very small spot. So you can get a lot of information in a small spot. And the kind of information you can get, a serial number, batch information, product description, and even a URL to look up more information on that product. So you can really contain a lot of information in a very small space. There's a lot of benefits for a lot of people in that supply chain, really, as a result of having access to that information. When it comes to being able to scan those barcodes, what's, what technology do you need? Well, traditionally we had 1D laser scanners which were designed for scanning the 1D barcodes. So it was a laser line that went across every line of the barcode and would decode that barcode. With a 2D barcode, you need a 2D imager which is dedicated for scanning both 1D and 2D barcodes. Um, and it's really a camera that will take a photo of that barcode and decode it very, very fast and with great accuracy. A lot of people that have been around the industry for a while would say that, uh, will probably remember when images scanners were a little slow. Yep. How are they operating today? Look, they're just as fast as 1D lasers. Um, they really are the go-to scan engine not only because they're just as fast as 1D, so there's no, uh, there's, there's no detriment to going 2D, there's a lot of other benefits that come with a 2D in imager. So the operator now, traditionally with a handheld 1D scanner with a single line, you'd have to line up the barcode with the scanner. What about with a new 2D imager scanner? Yeah, that's, that's one of the great benefits of a 2D imager. You really don't have to worry about orientation, you can scan upside down, the right way up. The camera sees the, the barcode in 2D and can decode it in any orientation and also 1D barcodes as well. So even if you've got 1D barcodes, you still get a benefit by having a 2D imager scanning that 1D barcode because any orientation is going to be able to de decode it. Society's changing, we're all carrying our mobile phones around with us and now we've seen barcodes end up on our phones for various reasons. Uh, what do we need to consider when it comes to 2D barcode scanning off phones? Yeah, look, that's another advantage of 2D images. They can scan off backlit devices such as mobile phones. Traditional 1D laser scanners cannot scan off a backlit device, so a 2D imager has another advantage. And think about when you're checking out at a supermarket, you've probably got your points card on your phone these days, so you've got a barcode on your phone, and you want to be able to scan that quickly when you check out, and that's where a 2D imager can help. So I want your opinion, Dan, and I want you to be honest. Uh, let's assume that you work in a retail or a manufacturing or any really supply chain business that utilises traditional barcodes. If you had to purchase new scanners now, what would you be looking at, even if you're still not fully working with 2D barcodes? Right, so even if you still have 1D barcodes in your organisation, I would still go for a 2D imager. So one, it future-proofs your organisation, so when you do move to 2D, you're, you can scan them straight off the bat. But also, scanning 1D barcodes, you get the benefit of speed because you can scan them in ori any orientation with a 2D imager. Also, damaged barcodes, uh, with a 1D laser, you have trouble scanning some barcodes if they're damaged, but a 2D has smarts in it within the imager to decode damaged 1D barcodes as well. So there's nothing but benefits by going 2D at the moment. Thanks, Dan. Well, now you found out all about 2D barcodes. You can find out more about the Zebra 2D barcode scanner range. Just jump online at zebra.com.